It was huge, and it, it really lets the starting pitcher go out there at a time when sometimes it's tough to get into your rhythm and you don't have the pressure to do it. So I've said often starting pitchers maybe struggle a little bit early in the game. When you have a four-run lead, man, you can go out there, you know, you can throw the ball over the plate, make them hit it, and Jesse did a nice job with that. And we've asked you sort of ad nauseum about the defense. How nice, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, how nice of a nap. Ninth inning, I was grinding. I, I wanted a nice, clean game, and we played a nice, clean game, made some good plays, made the routine plays. That's what we need to do. And, uh, you know, ended up being all the way around a good good day for our confidence. You saw what Chris did last year, in seven and 15 games this year. Are you done being surprised by this guy? You know what? You, you think you are, and then he hits a ball like that today where only the powerful left-handed hitters hit him. And I, it shouldn't surprise me at this point but you still kind of marvel at it. Uh, speaking of the defense, um, Rosales with a couple of nice yeah. plays, especially that one up the middle, what was your advantage on that? Yeah, that's, I mean, on both ends of that, and Yonner makes a nice pick, but not only is it a tough ball to get to, it's a tough ball to get something on on the ball, on the throw, and he, you know, Rosie's defender anywhere. And, uh, you know, whether it's the pop-ups, whether it's a play like that, I was saying on the pitch, Rosie just likes chasing baseballs no matter where they are. In the air, on the ground, doesn't matter. He likes likes fielding baseballs. So at the time, it was a big play. You know, I think I believe it was the first batter of the inning, I think. And so, you know, those those little things add up. What are you seeing uh, specifically with Han? He pitched well against the Rangers, I guess, in the relief role before. And here he comes out again. Yeah. There's a premium effort for you. Yeah, he's keeping his, the ball down a little bit more. So early in the game, it was a l little bit up in the zone, but he had a much better mix of pitches today, whether it was curveball, his changeup's been a big pitch for him in the last couple of games, and keeps everybody off what usually is his premium pitch is the sinker. So at times when he doesn't have his best fastball, you know, location-wise, he, and he's throwing his other pitches, it makes his fastball that much better. And I think his breaking stuff really kind of made his day today. Wow, well, that's uh, two straight games. The bullpen goes three innings, uh, no runs. That I could see after uh, that rough outing over the weekend. Yeah, um, we have a lot of confidence in our bullpen. We feel like we have a good bullpen. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Chris Davis is power, but how impressed are you with what Alonzo and Pinder showed today? Yeah, no, Pinder's a guy we've been trying to, been itching to get him in the lineup. You know, he's had such a wonderful career in our system, especially swinging the bat and, and you know, getting him in. You know, we try to pick some good matchups for him. Um, he's really shown what we we saw uh, in, in development. Now his bat's probably a little ahead of his glove, and he's working hard on his defense. But he took some good swings today, and when he squares it up, it goes a long way. It's tough to hit a ball on a line, the center field at our place, whether it's day or night, and hit it out at that trajectory.